Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Welcome to the Art Friend Show. Here's an artist I'd love you to know. Hi, my name is Anamika, and this is the Art Friend Show. We're doing a series of 100 days of going live here on Instagram, having a conversation with a new artist every day or most of the days. Our guest today is a interior designer and artist here in Portland, and I'm going to invite her in right now. Hi, Emmy. Hi. 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 Welcome to the Art Friend Show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. So this is Emmy Calero of Amelia Decor. And Emmy, you are a professional interior designer and artist. And I'd love if you tell everyone where you live and just a bit about what you do professionally and then we'll dig into our interview for today okay that sounds good um well thank you so much for having me on here just to hear you introduce me as an interior designer and artist makes my heart go pitter patter a little bit <laughs> um so my name is emmy i am an interior designer here in portland oregon and so i work in mainly residential interior design and my focus is I work mainly with women um, who are going through major life transitions so I'm using interior design as a medium um, for helping women really transform their lives. Wow that's amazing I want to hear more <laughs> about that. Yeah. Um, that's so cool so um, how did you um, one thing that you wanted to talk about was mm -hmm. while working as a design professional, mm -hmm. you were grappling with um, claiming this title of artist. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if we can talk about that because I, I there's such a rich subject for so many of us. Yes. So, you know, I've always been so fascinated with artists. You know, I was one of those weird kids that, you know, on summer vacation, I would take like a pile of magazines to my backyard and flip through and look at, you know, art and, um, you know, read stories about these famous writers. And mm -hmm. it just always seemed like something that made my heart be like, oh, I wish that I was born with the skill to be a painter, or I wish I knew how to draw, or I wish I was a poet. So it was like I was fascinated with this world, but that term artist, I was just assigning to a certain type of artistry, right? Mm -hmm. And then as my career kind of did some twists and turns and I found myself, um, you know, launching an interior design business. Yeah. It dawned on me one day, I can remember I was driving in my car and I was listening to an interview with um, the singer songwriter, what's her name? Oh gosh. Oh, Billie Eilish. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Billie Eilish. And she was talking about where she got inspiration for one of her songs. Mm -hmm. And it was that she was traveling and she heard, she was in a different country and she heard that, um, what's that when you're at, waiting at a stoplight or you're like walking to oh, the crosswalk? Oh, was it the like Australia? Da, 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 yes, da, 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 da. yes, yes, exactly. Yes. yes. And I was like, I kind of just had this like light bulb, like epiphany, like, oh my gosh. Like here is a human being who finds whose brain is wired in a certain way that when they hear a sound what they want to do with that that it lights them up somewhere inside and they want to recreate that in a different type of expression yes and yes. i was just like that's an artist right there yes. somebody who can 
and not just somebody, because I think at the end of the day, I think we all have that, right? I think that we are all born with some special innate ability to see something and have it go through our brain and our heart and our soul and to tell the story or to recreate it on some type of canvas. And that canvas can yeah. be a million different things. And so for me, I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. Because if I was in Australia or when I travel to a different country, yeah. I'm walking by like a storefront and I could see the way that like, the trim around the window is crafted and oh, I need to take cool. a picture of it. I need to find out more about it. I need to see how I can take that shape and reapply yeah. it in a different way. Oh, wow. And oh. so that's where I was like, I think I'm an artist. And I think that my canvas is really exploring how to transform essentially the canvas of our lives, you know, like our homes yeah. are that canvas our home. and yeah. we are supposed to express ourselves in there, you know, mm -hmm. and sometimes we need help. And I think that that's where I found is my calling and my artistry. That, that is so, I love that definition that you just spoke of what makes us an artist and mm. may I may I try to nutshell yes. it or nutshell it? away yeah okay so what I heard is you know my spin on it would be that this for this definition of an artist is a way of is a human being who has mm -hmm. a medium who has a medium like a go-to medium of expression right your first example is billy eilish as a song as a singer songwriter mm -hmm. and musician and then of yourself as an interior design professional and it what define what the epiphany was for you in that moment of being able to claim yourself and the title of artist is that an artist is someone who takes the inspiration or experiences from the world around them and then is inspired to to um, express them through their medium mm -hmm. and that medium could be you know hundreds of different things yeah um, but and so in that that was the evolution from your childhood definition which was more like artists are our painters, our poets, mm -hmm. our writer, like there was more like these, these, these modes of expression are recognizable as artists. Right. Um, like, yeah. But they got the stamp of approval uh -huh. by society. Like this yeah. is art. This is what it means to be an artist. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. I love that so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Um, yeah. Good. So what, ha what has changed for you since you were, you had that epiphany and you claimed that title and you decided to sign up for an art friend interview because yeah. you're like, yo, I'm an artist. I'm going to talk about this. You know, I think it's, it's an interesting evolution because, um, it's, I mean, it's exactly what that is, right? It's mm -hmm. constantly evolving how I am viewing myself, I guess, and how that is changing my identity. And I think part of it really is right now, now the phase I'm in is it feels like claiming that title is kind of like healing to me yeah. and yeah. understanding like these past experiences like in school or with my previous career yeah. why um, certain things might not have worked for my type of brain you know yeah. or why mm -hmm. um, yeah why the traditional nine to five role was difficult yeah. Um, so it, it also helped you like accept your, yeah. um, it made more sense that you are an artist. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Cool. So I think yeah. exactly. That's what it is. It's like mm -hmm. a title that carries so much meaning to me uh -huh. and then being able to claim that title, mm -hmm. it feels mm -hmm. very, very empowering, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, I guess the best way to describe is it feels like I, I'm looking at it more or it's like a lifestyle as well. Yeah. Like I've yeah. chosen yeah. to, it's not just a, it's a title, mm -hmm. but I think with that 
becomes these assumptions about a type of lifestyle that I think I have been yearning for. Oh. And I think saying that like, I'm an interior designer, mm -hmm. I run my own company, yeah. but really what's first and foremost is that I'm an artist, meaning that mm -hmm. my days, I want to have my days set up in a certain way. I want to be honoring myself in a certain way because I'm that instrument, you know, for my clients. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. so, yes, I would, say kind of long story short it's a constant evolution mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. i'm just really learning to like lean into it i love that that's so cool yeah yeah can you tell us about your homemaker collective yes this project too yeah yes. how does that work yeah so the homemaker collective is an idea that I, I had, you know, at the start of creating my interior design business back in 2017, okay. which is really, um, I really wanted to create a business that could also be run as like a social enterprise. So meaning that there's some, some part of the services that I'm offering that I could be giving back or could be harnessing for better, for, for good. Um, yeah. And so being in that interior design space, you know, you realize, um, while it's a wonderful field that I'm obsessed with, yeah. there's also a ton of waste. Mm, I think that like yeah. the interior design industry is one of like the worst as far as like, oh, you know, yeah. um, just with the, the shipping, you know, just with consumerism, I guess, for, mm -hmm. for lack of better, better mm -hmm. word. Um, yeah. And so it was like seeing that mixed with, we have a lot of clients that, you know, we're redoing a room, we have furniture we want to give away. Yeah. So it was like, okay, so how, how can we harness like taking stuff that my current clients don't need, yeah. Yeah. not putting them in a landfill or, you know, a lot of places won't take them for donations yeah. and being able to give them just to draw that simple connection to families, people that need it, you know? Okay. And so really what the whole... Right. Yeah. No, oh, no, no, go no. ahead, go ahead. No, 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 what's your I, question? Well, I was gonna say, am I understanding that you repurpose interior design elements or perhaps furniture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for people who aren't able to afford it? Yes, so okay. that's one element. Mm -hmm. And then the second element is, it's called a collective because we are a group of other interior designers, mm -hmm. artists, um, makers, craftspeople, um, handy people, contractors, that mm -hmm. we all kind of have the same goal or idea, which is like, we want to be able to do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how yeah. can we harness, you know, our artistry, yeah. our gifts to transform a room or a home for someone? Cool. So, cool. yeah. How do, people, how do you find your clients to do that? So for? we are launching. So this year is we're launching our first actual project. Uh -huh. And we found our clients. Um, this first round, we decided to uh, to try what it would be like through a nomination process. Uh -huh. So to have cool. the community say, I know someone, I know a friend or someone that's gone through a really difficult time or yeah. loss or recovering from homelessness. Yeah. Um, and so through that nomination process, we were able to, you know, really collect a lot of stories from um, people in our community. And we are kind of going through with us, seeing what our capacity is since we're just yeah. starting and kind of testing it out. And so we have a family that we've chosen that we are so excited to be working with. Cool. Um, and I'm excited to yeah, share more, um, as we decide what room she wants to redo in her house and, um, yeah, yeah to see how it comes, comes together. Yeah. That's awesome. That sounds yeah. like there's a lot of, there's a lot of sense of, um, like you're, you're on a quest to, to be of service. It's on, originally you described your, your interior design business that where you work with paying clients that mm -hmm. you're also helping them at a real crossroads in mm -hmm. their lives. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now you're also paying it forward in terms of this service project. Is it set up as a nonprofit or is it kind of- like No, not yet. Right now it? it's just, yeah, yeah. a project. Um, yeah. 
underneath my business. Um, yeah. yeah. And so, wow. so That's yeah. really interesting. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I, I know a lot of um, my, you know, fellow painters and I tend to, I tend to work with artists who work in like the traditional studio mm -hmm. mediums of, of painting or sculpture and, you know, installations, some, some writers and photographers, but especially those of us who create physical work, mm -hmm. we deal with that confronting feeling of being like, this is like, you, you know, you create waste, you create stuff. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I've seen my framed print for sale at Goodwill. <laughs> Like, and like that's a thing and made and sold and then it found its way it's like, like, <laughs> you know it's like yeah. we're creating stuff right and I think that a lot of us that are um wanting to not like ruin the planet mm -hmm. <laughs> or want to figure out that footprint and I love how you've been grappling with that as an interior mm -hmm. designer mm -hmm. and thinking about all of that um that there mm -hmm. that's so cool yeah right on yeah. yeah cool so what kind of invitation do you have for people who are just meeting you for the first time like they can mm -hmm. follow your instagram what type yes. of people do you work with who do you want to yes. hang out with yeah yes so as far as um you know connecting with me i think instagram is, is the best way um to connect and follow my work on there um and yeah so my I, I work with so as i said at the beginning a lot of my main focus is working with women going through major life transitions and so yeah. that includes um you know new moms um recent retirees empty nesters yeah, yeah. Um, cool. and you know post-divorce post-breakup as well ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so really uh, people at that crossroads in their life that want to um, start new and yeah. and find a way to really express their needs and wants for the next chapter or phase in their lives. Um, so and then as far as the Homemaker Collective goes, you know, we mm -hmm. have a link on my website, mm -hmm. ameliadecor.com, where you can fill out a form if you're interested in, in offering any type of service or you want to mm -hmm. learn more. Yeah. Um, and so if there's anyone listening that is interested in um, either donating a service or, or anything, they can go onto the website. Um, That's cool. And find some more information there. Yeah. Yeah. That's really inspiring. I love I've, you know, I've walked in a lot of circles over the years and I, mm -hmm. I for nine years, I had a, a, a art studio space in the Ford building and there were a bunch of oh, different yeah. interior design yeah. business also at headquarters there. And I, and like also wedding photographers and venues. And I found across our industries, I think something like this gives us as professionals an opportunity to collaborate in a way that then causes creativity and causes like connections. If you're, whether you're collaborating on like a styled photo shoot to benefit everybody's businesses or doing an entire room mm -hmm. pro bono mm -hmm. for a client, like that's so inspiring and you're gonna be seeing everybody's generosity in that. And yeah. that sounds like not only a cool way to connect, but I'm also like a business nerd and I'm like, that's really strategic in terms yeah. of building for, uh, you know your professional network of people because you'll they'll come up with like innovative things and and, and connection through that it's really cool right yeah. and i think yeah you saying like it touches on the generosity like mm -hmm. i think like i underestimated how good it would feel in a way mm -hmm. or like to realize like i was trying to like have this conversation with my husband like explain to him that like you know it's like we grow up you know these certain messages in the in capitalism are just about you know producing and you mm -hmm. know how is this going to just benefit me how is you know i mean uh -huh. we can go on forever uh, right yeah. so it's kind of like an, an, as artists and as women especially how mm -hmm. how we're unpacking that in the businesses that we're creating yeah. and like to feel that you're operating out of generosity that mm -hmm. you're creating a business inside this like larger structure that is so anti that like how yeah. 
freeing that feels, you know, to yeah. say like, and also a majority of the craftspeople, artists, designers that are, we're working with in the collective are mainly women. Mm -hmm. And so just to know that it's like, we're done with that other stuff. Like there is mm -hmm. a different way to value community, yeah. generosity, yeah. and to have that be how we run our businesses. It's not like a question. It's just like, this is the new type of economy, the new yes. type of business <laughs> that we yeah. want to see, you know? Yeah. And I want to see all of us women, non-binary folk, queer community, mm -hmm. like all of us that are out here embodying a different energy than you know the patriarchal capitalism that we mm -hmm. have been operating inside of mm -hmm. it, it it's motivating to get up in the morning and know i'm going to talk to you and we're going to do this you're yeah. you know it happens mm -hmm. to be international women's day so like i know <laughs> yeah cheers <laughs> for that. what it's worth yeah yeah that's it's a perfect amazing. conversation to be having today, right? That it this really is the is. day that, like, we are celebrating our achievements and yeah. what's possible what, when and we work together. Yeah. Yeah, lifting each other up. I mm -hmm. mean, thank you for generously coming on my show, mm -hmm. which is, yes. you know, my, my own way of, like, this is something that's really fun and um you know, well, it has, it's challenging, but it's also really easy for me to mm -hmm. help people practice getting on Instagram and talking mm -hmm. about themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's also obviously helping market my mentoring services. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I spent my morning before this meeting with two different women clients who I helped like in their creative process. And it's like this sense of we can help each other access our power and then ripple that out in the community. And mm -hmm. I love, you're gonna, you're really sticking with me this idea of operating from generosity. Cause it's mm -hmm. just so fun too. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. Can you for tell us me. what? I said, thank, thank you so much for having, this has just been a great conversation. My first Instagram live. I love it. Yes. I'm so, and it's such a fun way to meet you. Yeah. Oh right. Um, <laughs> One last thing, I would love if you can share that um, idea board. Oh, yeah. And just tell us a little bit about what inspires you, and then we'll go ahead and wrap yeah. up. Yeah. Let's see. Can I flip this around? Yeah. I can, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here we go. So this is kind of part of my process, a little peek into my brain, speaking of artistry. So yes. this is like, like okay, let me st step back. We can kind of see the full vision. Yeah. So this idea for a room for a client really all started with this leaf that I found when I was walking cool. on a walk. Love it's that. kind of faded now, but I was just loving the greens, how yeah. they bounced with the browns and just like the, the oh. texture in it. Yes. And so I put it here and then so the next part is really looking at how in my brain, right? Like how does this how does this translate to a room yeah and so it's looking at just colors we've got you know the chairs the sofa how we can bring in the fun neutral texture with like ottomans mm -hmm. and then oh. um how it leads into a different room and bringing in you know i think texture is just so important it replicates yeah. nature so much we see so many we have such a strong connection to nature, I think. And so I think part of that is, is we love texture. We love, um, you know, things with dimension. And so that's something I'm always trying to think about when I'm designing a space. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. I love to see the way you collect physical inspiration. Yeah. I'm a big fan of, um, of like making a mood board or oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. inspiration station. Mm -hmm. Yes. For coining that term. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Thanks for showing us that. And it also gives me a sense of your aesthetic. And yeah. now I've gotten to meet you. I can't wait to continue to follow you and watch you grow. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, have a good day, everybody. All right. Great. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you're watching, comment, cheer her on, <laughs> tag a friend who might want to watch this, share it in your stories, help spread the word, and um, appreciate you watching. Okay, bye.
I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com. 